Is it easy to join objects in a smooth and organic way using Blender? Well, yes it is. See if we open Blender, then add couple of objects intersecting with each other, like maybe three tubes with this shape, and we want to make the connection points on them more smooth. The way to do that is by understanding that those three are different in both shapes and topology, so we need to fix that. To join the geometry in those three objects, there's a tool in Blender called the Bool tool. Look it up in the add-ons section or in the extension area if you're running on new Blender version, then enable it. And try to keep it on cause it's helpful in many cases. You can find the Bool tool options in the object menu from the top bar or in the side panel which you can open by pressing N and the shortcut for it is there with each option. I can now select the objects, then press Control and Number Pad Plus to join them as a union type. Or, you can just do that from the Brush Boolean Union option to get the same result if you don't have a Num Pad. Once you join the objects, go to the modifiers and apply them from top to bottom one by one. Then delete the wireframe boxes. By now, we did join the objects, but they still three different topologies in this shape so we need to remesh it using the remesh modifier. Add the modifier to the mesh, make it on smooth type, disable the remove disconnect option if you're missing any parts, but we don't need that here. Then increase the depth level to around eight or nine and apply the modifier once you're done. The poly count on this after the remesh can go crazy but we will bring it down in a minute. The next step is to smooth the connection between the original objects. And we do that with a modifier called Smooth Corrective, which is super dope and not many use it. Anyway, add it to the shape, enable the only smooth option, then spike the repat value to 100 or 2. You can play with the factor at top to widen the effect area on those edges then apply the modifier. To fix the high poly count cause this is wild to have in the scene, we need to use the decimate modifier. I will go with the collapse type and make it on 0.05 to drop this poly count while keeping the main shape. You can experiment with the unsubdivide or the planar modes for better topology in some cases. Like the unsubdivide with pair values can usually give nice topology outcome, but not all the time. And same with the planar on a right angle. At the end, you can shade smooth the mesh, then drop on it a nice shader and be done with it. It's not the best topology outcome since the decimate is destructive but it's easy and fast for organic looking weird stuff to place in your scene. Now one thing before we wrap this, if you want to keep some of the edges sharp, like if we have this horny cube and want to leave the cube main edges sharp, the process will go the same up till the smooth modifier part. Then here we can use the vertex group in the modifier to assign the effect area. We just need to select the main edges, then switch to vertices and grow the selection a bit, then assign this to a new vertex group and input that in the modifier. This will make the effect on the grouped vertices alone, and we want the opposite, so we can press this icon to flip the effect. And that's it. If you liked what you watched, do like and subscribe for more weird stuff, and see you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.